Uh, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, to do uh, carbon black dispersion test on uh, polymers according to ISO 18553. This is the standard for uh, uh, determining uh, grade of uh, carbon black dispersion uh, on polymers. Uh, the, the sample preparation in this video will be uh, based on uh, hot air oven. It's easy to prepare samples, no need to, to have a microtome. If you have a hot air oven, you can also prepare samples uh, using hot air oven. Uh, the sample, you see the sample here. First of all, need to prepare very small uh, cut out of the polyethylene, this is black polyethylene, I'm preparing samples, you see, it is very small piece of polyethylene, you see, one or two or three or six, you see the samples are very very small piece of the black polymer that we're going to uh, determine the, the, the dispersion grade of the uh, uh, carbon black and this polymer and then put uh, another glass slide above and then clips it these are uh, standard paper clips need to uh, clips the sample like this There you see plastic pieces in the middle. Then you will uh, put this uh, 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 prepared sample assembly uh, in hot air oven. Temperature need to be something about uh, 800, uh, 180 degrees to 200 degrees centigrade and need to uh, put inside the oven uh, about 15 minutes or 20 minutes. Then uh, after this period you will have uh, samples like this you see the sample will be uh, melted and it will be very thin layer of the uh, polyethylene this sample specifically is polyethylene and you see uh, the light passes through the sample piece yeah it's easy to prepare sample for carbon black dispersion then you, uh, you will go through microscope a standard microscope is needed, uh, the magnification according to the norm will be uh, 100. Uh, if you have a CCD camera with uh, 10 uh, magnification, you need to, uh, to set the eyepiece uh, to uh, 10, then totally uh, you will have 100 uh, of magnification, total magnification will be 100. Uh, yeah, you will put the sample piece here, glass slide here. Yeah, then uh, you will adjust the light of microscope. It's easy to to set it. Any microscope you can use for your test, uh, no matter what is the brand and the, uh, standard microscope, uh, biologic microscope. Uh, uh, you can use all kinds of microscopes for this purpose. Uh, first of all, you need to, to capture pictures. Then after preparing samples from the, uh, the, the, the pictures, we will go through the, uh, the software, carbon black dispersion software. I will show you how to to do the test, first of all, we need to prepare pictures. Yeah, you see the the uh, the pictures here. Yeah, these are uh, agglomerates. Yeah, here you see agglomerates of carbon black. These are agglomerates, and based on the standard, you need to to measure these agglomerates sizes. The biggest diameters of these agglomerates need to be measured based on the standard. You see, these are bad situation for 
in Cameron dispersion, these are the, the, the big size of agglomerates that you see in the sample piece. Here as well, you see some uh, uh, big size agglomerates here as well. But based on the standard, you will go through the, the most bad area of the sample for the uh, carbon black dispersion means that find the the most uh, big sizes for carbon black agglomerates and then take uh, something about six uh, uh, pictures six captures of the sample and we will use uh, those six pictures for measurement of the dispersion grade for Sam, pal. Yeah, here yeah, uh, I'm just adjusting. I'm just setting the the, the picture size to uh, 640 by 480. Yeah, this is the minimum size of the picture that we need to capture using the microscope. Then you will go through the uh, the the software dispersion software from HP Plastic Machina that will be used for measurement of the uh, dispersion grade according to this norm ISO 18553 based on this uh, on this standard we will measure the dispersion grade for six samples and then at the end the average uh, dispersion grade will be reported yeah uh, first of all for, for using in the next video I will show you how to calibrate this software for the specific microscope, for the specific CCD camera, and then after calibration, you can use it for for your uh, dispersion tests. Yeah.